The Minecraft movie trailer just dropped and it's um interesting to say the least, but I realized they announced it with this poster. Like really Minecraft? You could have done something a little more than that. So I'm gonna take it into my own hand and make two posters that could replace the poster that we have now. And we started with our main character, I'm assuming, Jason Momoa. So I cut him out and I tried to make a rough composition for what I wanted. I'm going with one of the floating head posters. If you don't like that, the next poster I'm doing is more like an alternative style. Then I went in and added this piglin and I realized that he was holding a sword, which he didn't need to be holding. So I took out the sword just with a pen tool and don't worry, I'll fix that later. By fixing that, I mean I will just add it so you can't see his hand. Jack Black was next up on the list of characters that I needed to put in. He went in the bottom right and then this girl that I only know from the Wednesday series, but I mean, she's a pretty cool actor. I needed to add this pink sheep somewhere because it's just really funny. So I put him in this open space up here hoping I'd fill it out later. I did the exact same thing with this llama because you just need them in there. I don't even care if they're really a part of the film. I also added this ghast. You're really not going to be able to see him in the final product, but if you look closely, he will be there. I tried to add in this wolf, but honestly, it didn't really work. Then I added the Minecraft logo, and this was really important because I really wanted that official Minecraft text. Now onto the background. I cut out this blocky tree. I figured I could use this as some type of framing mechanism. Then I went on to adding the actual big background. I just got this from a screenshot that I took from the trailer and that's how I got most of these pictures actually. Now with this background, I realized I was gonna have to make the sheep and the llama a lot smaller, as well as moving this gas. And now came the most difficult part by far, making all these characters actually look like they're supposed to be in this scene. And this was especially difficult with Jason Momoa as the picture I used, it was nighttime when it was taken. But eventually I did get something I liked and I did the exact same thing to all of the other other characters. I even had to switch the llama and sheep around so it matched the lighting of the background. Then it was on to highlights which was by far the most important part of this and the most difficult part. I worked on these highlights for quite a while until I finally got something that I liked I mean, a decent bit. I also had to adjust the background to match everything else. Also, let's take a second to look how goofy this llama looks. Then I was onto the glow, so I made a solid color fill layer, and I drew over anywhere that needed highlights. Along with these highlights, I put in a nice glow on the left to make all of this lighting actually make sense. Then I added an underglow to the text up here, and as a little detail, I even made it reflect off of the lake. After that, it was onto making the glow on the ghast. Then I drew in a dark blue vignette on there, and I scrolled through the blend layers until I found something that I liked. Eventually I ended on something pretty cool and I did the exact same thing with a glow in the very middle. Particles were one of the final touches that this piece needed to really become looking good. Then I typed in a bunch of text at the bottom that no one's gonna read but it makes it look a lot more professional. I even went in and capitalized some of the text. I don't really know what this does but I see a bunch of movies do it and you know what? If it works, it works. I also turned all the opacity down on this text because it was a little too prominent and that looked pretty decent. After that, I added a blur on the background, just a really faint one, but this is a good little touch. Then I went on to a camera raw filter, and if you guys are not using this, you need to be, because this really changes the final product. So without further ado, this is my first Minecraft poster. Tell me how you guys like it. I think it turned out really well. It turned out a lot better than I thought it would, especially because I was working with basically only screenshots from the, the second poster here. I wanted to go for a more alternative style. So I decided on doing something with the nether portal. In the trailer, the nether portal was like blue. I, I, I'm not doing that crap. It's purple. And my goal for this was for it to kind of have like a spooky vibe. So as you can see here, I put in more of like a very hazy background so you couldn't see much. Then I built my own nether portal using a bunch of obsidian textures that I found online. And honestly, this ended up a lot better than I thought it would because from what you can see here, it doesn't look very great. I used the clone stamp tool to make all the obsidian pieces look just a little different. So it didn't look like I just used the same picture over and over. And my goal was this to make that portal kind of keep that blocky vibe, but not be completely blocky because it wouldn't look realistic at all, which meant I had to just carve out some of the edges to make it look a little more more realistic, I even added a couple cracks to make some imperfections. Using this brush that I have, I masked out parts of the nether portal to make it look like it was sitting in the grass. I would do the same thing to Jason Momoa later. Now that the nether portal had a good shape, I decided it was time for the portal part of it. 
So I put in a purple background and made a bunch of different adjustments to make it look kind of like a portal. As you can see here, it didn't really look as good as I thought it could. So I added a bunch of particles and then I even searched Google for a bunch of portal effects that maybe I could add in. And honestly, this was kind of the savior of this piece because I didn't really think it was going too well so far, but these effects really helped it. This effect right here ended up having the biggest change on the overall outcome of the piece. Glows obviously were a huge part of this as well, but the big changes really start happening when I start messing with the atmosphere. As you can see, I used a bunch of preset brushes in this. I really recommend getting some if you haven't already and you use Photoshop. Now it was time to start messing with the atmosphere and I made everything darker and a lot more purple, added some highlights on the grass, and this, you can just tell already, changes the whole mood of the piece. Now it was time for Jason Momoa. And this was a really low quality photo of him, so I kind of had to make it to where you couldn't really see the details of him. I know the scaling on this doesn't really make sense, but honestly, I was just going for what looked cool, so if you don't like that, whatever. After messing with these highlights, I did the same thing I did on the other piece, and I added that vignette, and I messed around with a bunch of different colors. Adding this title in right now, you can really just see all these little pieces start to come together. And this is why I like Photoshop so much because it's just so easy to create something that is just out of this world and feels like you're on a different planet. Camera raw filters are obviously a must in all situations. As you can see here, it just it just looks so much better. With all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, here is my second Minecraft movie poster. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a big fan of this one. I like it a lot more than the other one. I really like the way the scale is emphasized with the small Jason Momoa. And yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.